Seferi Isar is one of the most peaceful, historical and beautiful towns in Izmir province along the Aegean coast of Turkey and it's the first Turkish Citta Slow. Allow quiet and relaxing thoughts to envelop you as you explore the slow city here. You can experience immersion in nature, tranquility, you can enjoy locally grown food and have the opportunity to live as a local. Citta Slow, an organization founded 23 years ago, is a network of towns and villages that suit the slow pace of life and where you can live in a sustainable way. Seferis are part of the network since 2009 as four bazaars set up weekly. One of them is the famous Sejik Bazaar. Here, whatever you buy is 100% local. Clean energy is used and street lamps are solar powered. And the drawer is still full of projects. The most important project is actually agricultural projects. We have many, more than 200 different types of local seeds, like from the tomatoes to peppers, etc. And because of this, uh, we have established some uh, seed banks and we, we gather all the local seeds in this bank and we share it with the people who live in Seferisar right now. Uh, we share also in the international Chitaslov uh, network actually. Without any doubt, one of the best and most ecological ways to visit the area is by bicycle. The Turkegian is a wonderland for cyclists. Bikeways are created especially for them. A section of the Eurovelo 8, an almost a 6,000 kilometer long route that covers 11 countries, passes by here. And it's impossible to miss the multitude of olive trees, considered mythical and sacred in Turkey, one of the main olive oil producers in the world. We are precisely in Urla, where the history of olive oil production is as old as civilization itself. To help you to understand, local cuisine here offers dishes called zeiti alilar, which literally means those made with olive oil. Bir kere zeytinyağsız bir şey pişirmeyi düşünemezsiniz bile. Ee, özellikle Urla diyorsak, Urla'da her şey zeytinyağıyla olur. Ee, bu tartışmasız bir şey. As you can see, these tiny olives aren't ready to be picked yet, but there are other wild products worth gathering this season. Urla mutfağı geleneksel olarak yabani yenilebilen bitkilere e, yüzyıllardır kullanmış ve bunu mutfak kültürüne çok güzel bir şekilde entegre etmiş bir mutfak. In Urla it's common not only to use wild herbs leaves in the kitchen but also their roots, flowers and seeds. Duygu is showing us how to perfectly combine our harvest with olive oil. And these are the wild mustard. You can even taste the flowers. You will get the exact taste yeah. of mustard. Mm. Mm. I never thought that one day I would have cooked and eaten wild herbs and flowers. There's another locally grown product which goes nicely with olive oil dishes. I'm talking about wine. Why don't we find out more? Urla has a long history of wine producing using regional grapes from Anatolia and the expertise passed down from generation to generation. Like all the areas in the world that are good for winemaking, Anatolia is considered a warm region. It's Mediterranean climate, so we get a lot of sunny days like today, but no clouds. And uh, we have chalky soil that keeps the moisture in it, allows you to do dry farming. You don't have to irrigate. Award-winning wines made from grapes with a 6,000-year history can be found here. And just around the corner, you'll find the ruins of the ancient city of Teos, home to the temple dedicated to Dionysus, the god of wine. Certainly, here a state of calm surrounds you. Seferisar continues to improve its game with new projects in the Citta Slow program. But most importantly, it is still the best place to steer clear of the chaos of modern life. Guru Shurus. <laughs>